Set your opponent up for a big gainer down the field, 30 yards plus, coming up next. Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus. You're the only YouTuber that actually gives you full games of all the tips and schemes I post on my channel. I show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. All right, so guys, if you're new to uh, my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and also that notification icon so you can never miss an upload. All right, so guys, this is going to round out uh, the little mini scheme that I posted on my channel out of the gun wing tight formation of the Chicago Bears. Uh, multiple different plays we broke down uh, to go ahead and attack our opponent on the ground. Also, with good passing plays, attack the flats, pack over the middle, um, and really go ahead and drive our opponent now so we're going to be able to attack every single area of the field against our opponent uh, this is going to be the last area of the field that basically we weren't covered and this is going to be the biggest play opportunity that you're going to get all right so you can find this uh, particular play the gun uh, the, the gun uh, wing tight uh, play which is going to be play action post uh, double post you can find it in the browns the colts panthers eagles chiefs 49ers and the spread playbook so very common play and it's a great play that you can use in conjunction with a running game so basically with the play action double post, how we're going to set this play up is we're going to go ahead and streak up our wide receiver and actually put Cole on the backhand side on a drag route. Now the reason we do this is that uh, Cole's route and Jen uh, Safarian Jenkins route, the fly uh, drag route, should clear Paul for a really deep completion for th for 30 yards on the field. This is a good a good play to go and sprinkle into your running game because it's going to be very hard for your opponent to, to uh, prepare for if he's got to go ahead and play in the box and stop your running game. Now the problem with this is, is this is not the best play to go and jump into against someone who runs a lot of man coverage. You probably want to jump into maybe the mesh spot or the uh, stick and uh, stick and uh, nod vertical. Uh, those will probably be a little bit better, but passing plays. Uh, the crossing route, the drag is going to take some time to develop. Uh, but these routes on the backhand side, if you get, if he's not sending seven people and he doesn't give you some kind of a special blitz look at you, uh, you can actually hit that crossing route, Kovac on the backhand side. Conversely, you've also got this route here that you can hit. That's really my zone route. That's going to be looking. I'm going to be using this against my zones. Now, a route you can really get yourself in trouble against against a man blitzer, which typically is good against man uh, man pressure, is this route, uh, which is a crosser. But the problem why I was delayed and I had to get I had to uh, uh, get a sack on that is because I was going to be throwing into a yellow zone. So that's where you can get yourself in trouble. But I would stay out of this play primarily against anybody who's using a lot of man blitzes. Uh, this is not the best play to go and use. So let's take a look at where you really can shred your opponent out. Cool about this good play is that uh, the crossing route by Paul is going to give pretty good separation, but also this middle route right here by Safarian Jenkins is going to pick us some pretty good yards. Now the mid read typically is not going to follow or get enough good position to go and cover that route, so you can sometimes rack that or, or do a, a, a catch. So if he's going to try to user it, he's going to have to pick his poison. Does he want to give up 40 yards down the middle, or does he want to go ahead and give up 30 yards into the corner? So that's what's really cool about this against cover two. Now, if a guy uh, actually uses a lot of cover three, once again, this should should open up um, most of the area of the field right here. So cover three is where you really can expose your opponent with this particular play. So I got rid of that ball a little bit quick, but watch what happens with Paul's route and how he gets wide open. So if my guy's holder blocks, what's going to happen is this route will actually get open for you for a nice little window to actually go and clear it up. So uh, playing with one of the better defenses in the game uh, with Philadelphia, they get a lot of good block sheds. You can see right here, I'm going to rack that, go ahead and take it house. You can pick up some major yards with this bigger play, and this, that's going to be the area of the field that you want to go and look to. Um, I, you also can obviously drop it down uh, to the crossing route underneath so you can keep your opponent honest. If he goes ahead and tries to go and take the high lead or route, you can take Cole's route and, and hit him uh, under, uh, on the back uh, underneath. So it's a kind of a high-low situation, um, and that's where you're really going to go ahead and get that opportunity. So uh, this ball actually got misthrown, but you can see where the windows are open with a cover three. So uh, that's why I like this particular play is that against cover three, you're going to get those type of separations. They're going to give you good opportunities. So let's go ahead and take a look at this at cover four. So what does this do against cover four? Well, uh, once again, um, some cover fours, especially if you've got matching principles, you should be able to go ahead. If he's doing a palms type read, uh, that route will get crazy separation to get you in a situation where you're going to go ahead and get uh, major uh, uh, completions. 
match rod on the backhand side against cover 4-2. So this route, this play is just going to destroy cover 4, and you could catch your opponent in cover 4 because he might have to go ahead and jump into it to stop the running plays, depending on what's going on. So as you can see right here, nice little rack catch. Uh, and let's go ahead and see. We've got it right down to the 5-yard line with that. So a really, really good play to go, go ahead and use against your opponent. If they jump in cover four, you're going to be able to go and shred them for some pretty big yards. So uh, once again, to my subscribers, thank you for your support, guys. If you like these type of tips, make sure you hit the like button. Also, uh, make sure you hit subscribe if you want to get more daily tips uh, of the offensive and defensive schemes that I post on my channel. Thanks a lot for your support. Until next time.